So let's solve this question. Um, we have p to be one over s, q to be one over y, and we have um, the first equation two over x. So we have two over s here plus one over y being equal to three. And we also have one over x here minus five over y here being equal to seven. So we have um this to be equation one and this to be equation two. But the question is um if if p is equal to one over x and q equal to one over y. Now we need to substitute this this into that. So we need to write this equation such a way that we can have one over x and one over y, then we can substitute p and q into this equation. So we can um we can quickly do it this way. We have um four so we have for equation one for equation one we can have um for equation one we can have um two outside here we have one over x here plus one over y here so we are writing this in the form of that being equal to three therefore with this we can have two now we have one over x here which is p so we replace it by p plus 1 over y, 1 over y is just q, and we have q equal to 3, so we can call it, um, let's say, equation 3, now, for equation 2, for this equation, we can also have 1 over x here, and we can have, um, so I can bring 5 out, then I'm left with 1 over y being equal to 7, so with this, 1 over x here being p minus 5 here, 1 over y here is just q equal to 7. So we can have equation 4. So let's quickly write this equation. Um, we have p plus q equal to 3, equation 3, and we have p minus q equal to 7 as equation 4. Now, um, we can either use the elimination or substitution method. So let's use substitution. Substitution method with the substitution method. Therefore, with the substitution method, what I can do is um, from here, I can um, I can make um, from here I can make uh, Q the subject. Or I can either make P the subject. Anyhow, I do it. I should arrive at the same answer. So quickly, I can um, form equation, form equation, form equation four. So from equation four, so from this equation, I can actually make uh, P the subject. So I can have P being equal to seven plus five Q. So equal to 7 plus 5 q and I, let me call it equation let me call it equation 5 so with this I can put equation 5 into equation so I can either put equation 5 here put equation 5 into equation 1 so equation 3 so let's do that putting a um, this equation into equation 1 so we have 2p plus q being equal to 3 so if p is equal to this then therefore we are just substituting our value we have q here equal to 3 therefore 7 times 2 is just 14 let's stand it out we have 10 q and we have plus q being equal to so quickly we can have um, we can um, do um, group like terms over here. So we have thank you plus q is just eleven q, and this fourteen goes to that. So we have three minus fourteen here. We have eleven q being equal to negative eleven, and therefore we can have eleven divided by eleven. Let me cancel eleven, and we have negative one. So we can um, therefore have uh, Q 
b equal to negative 1. So we have our, our q here. We have our q here to be we have our q here to be negative 1. So we have q to be negative 1. Now um, the next thing is to put q equal to negative 1 into equation. So let's put it into equation 5. So let's do that. Equation 5. Now equation 5 is just 7 plus 5 q. So we have p equals to 7 minus 5. Then the value of q is just negative 1. So we have p equals to 7 minus. So we have minus minus being positive. So we have positive here. So we have negative 5 here. So we have 7 minus 5. Then we have our p to be 2. So this basically, so therefore, p q is negative 1 and, and p is 2. So this rule we have for p, p and q. Now, from the question we have, um, from the question we have, um, from the question said, um, Substitution P and Q. So here, if you can do it this way, if Q is equal to negative one and P here is two, then from this equation, which is P equal to one over x, therefore, um, if I substitute the value of P into this equation, I have two equal to one over x and therefore my x is just 1 over 2 and also if I have um, the second equation over here q equals to 1 over y and q is just negative 1 so negative 1 equals 1 over y and we can have y to be 